Hi everyone, this is Sean from Affiliate Income Hero. In today's Quora tutorial for beginners video, I'm gonna be carrying on from my last video, which was all about how you can use Quora to make an income for affiliate marketing or use it as a vehicle to drive traffic to any of your squeeze pages or to your website. Um, if you haven't already seen that video, I'd probably say go and have a look at that one and I'll put the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Um, today's video is all about, if you're a beginner, how you actually go about setting up your Quora profile. I'll show you everything that will help you be able to use it as a tool to drive traffic and ultimately sales to your offers, whatever they happen to be in whatever niche it happens to be in, you know, whatever niche you happen to be in as well. Um, I'll show you the sign up process, how to actually uh, set your profile up correctly, um, how you navigate the site, how you go about searching for questions, you know, and how best to answer those questions because that is the difference between 90% of the people that are on Quora um, that just use it and throw their links out there hoping to get traffic and the ones that are really capitalising on Quora are doing it in a certain way and we're going to talk about exactly how you do that. Um, so if you haven't already done so and this is your first time to my channel, I would encourage you to click the... Um, subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell and then you'll be kept up to speed when I put other videos out like this as well as reviews and everything about affiliate marketing and my journey. And if you are a beginner and you really don't know what you're doing and you're trying to understand how to fit the pieces together because it can be a really hard jigsaw of putting all the moving pieces and making it work, there is a free course in the description below that I would encourage you to have a look at as well. This is the sign up page that you'll take into if you simply do a search in Google for Quora or if you actually put in the URL bell Quora.com. You can sign up using your Google um, uh, your Google uh, login if you have one or you can go straight in with your Facebook account. But for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use an email address. So just put in the details as, as it asks you. So, you know, your name or what you would like to be called when you're on this site. So for the purpose of this, I'm actually just going to use an alias. Um, um, email address and then the password that you want to use obviously save that password um, try and use something different to what you may have used for your other um, email addresses for example you want to do something that's unique Click sign up. And this is what you're greeted with when you first sign in. Now Quora is um, a site which is obviously geared around lots of different niches. So depending on your niche, um, you may not be an affiliate marketer, you may be just looking to use um, this to drive traffic to a different kind of sale, personal fitness, a different kind of um, site, sorry. So you may be a personal trainer, you may be into music, you know, whatever it is that you're interested in, there'll be lots of different things in here that you'll be interested in. But you want to pick 10 or more topics for you to follow that are around your niche. So for the pur purpose of this, I'm gonna choose the following because I'm into affiliate marketing. So, And as you click and um, identify the, what the marketplaces you want to be associated with, it will give you more and more options. So entrepreneurial, let's have a look. Um, small business, business models. Um, I will go with e-commerce for the sake of this. Web marketing. Advertising. I'll stop the video here, but you get the get the point. You just go through here and pick the ten that are more associated with what you're doing. Okay, once you've done that, you'll get this next page, which is basically your personalised feed. What you will notice on the right hand side are some things that you need to go through and um, actually complete. So follow five more spaces. Upvote, upvote, upvote five good pieces of content or content that you find of interest and relevant to your marketplace. You can ask a question, which you know I would advise you go through each one of these and do this um, because you know obviously this is how they expect you to uh, behave on the platform. And if you at least go through what they're asking you to do before you can start doing some uh, traffic driving to your own websites, I would advise that you do it. So go through all of these, make sure these are completed. Um, on the left hand side here you will see the uh, the 10 or 
however many you decided to choose areas that you were you would associate with being interested in so they'll display all these different areas here and then in the center you will have a feed now this is a feed of general information and also a mixture of the information that will be associated with these things here on the left um, and it's much like Facebook or any other social media platform you've got a notifications bell at the top and then up here you can see your profile uh, where you do want to go in and change these things which we'll go through in a second and then you can add a question um, these these are the spaces that you can join you can answer questions and then these are the groups that you're following so let's first go through and discover some additional spaces so as I said, depending on what niche you're in, you want to choose things that are associated with that because they're well you'll be able to go and be an authority in your marketplace. So I'm going to go through things like this. Let's have a look at affiliate link traffic. Um, so online marketing, let's have a look at this one. How many people are in this group? 213,000 people so that's probably a good one to join and then we'll talk about the metrics and why you want to look at those kind of numbers so I'll follow that space so now I'm following these guys as well so so if you look down the left hand side you'll see all of the ones that I've joined obviously the additional ones I also joined will be there as well before you do anything, as I said, complete these five things because you want to be able to do that. Uh, in the next section, I'm going to take you through how you set up your profile because that's the bit that people will come to once they've read your answer and they want to find out a little bit more about who you are and why you're saying you're the right person to answer that question. So now you've joined and you've you picked the um, the groups that you want to follow or the spaces as they call it. You want to obviously go in and change your profile. But just just to touch on what I said about the number of people that are in these different spaces, yeah, you want to try and choose ones where there's there is a reasonable number of people already in those spaces. Um, because you can actually set spaces up for yourself, you can actually decide to set your own space up and have people come and join. Um, obviously that's something that you can think about at a later date but effectively once a space has got some traction and they've got quite a few people part of that group then <clears throat> it means it's easier for you to get your message out there and you'll have more and more more questions to actually answer whereas if it's a red, relatively small group then you'll have less people asking questions so um, try and choose ones that have got a reasonable number what that number is is you know it's a bit difficult for me to say but i'd say anything above ten thousand people is probably probably worth um getting involved in and if below that probably give it a miss there's loads of different groups. It's not like you're going to uh, not find the traffic you need. So at the top here, you've got a, a picture, which is your profile. So you just need to click on here and you can see your username, whatever it is you've decided you want, you know, you've set it up under. You've got messages here, which is direct messages to you or for messages and notifications from caller. You can create an ad, which again is something that you may want to do at a later date, um, but you can now set ads up on Chorus platform. Um, it's reasonably new, as in it's been around for about two years now, and um, it means you can be really, really targeted on your keywords that you want to advertise on for each of these different types of groups. So what I mean by that is if you were doing local business, you could specify how local that business is. Or for example, if you were doing um, web marketing, you could just advertise and put your advert in front of people that are interested in web marketing or e-commerce. So you can be really targeted, just like Facebook used to be before they got really, really difficult to deal with. Um, then you've got your stats, that's how many people have seen your content um, or upvoted it. Um, then the different, your actual, all your content that you put out there, any big bookmarks you have and then drafts. So that's anything you've started that haven't quite completed. So you want to go in here and change some of this up. So you want to click on your profile picture. Um, the first thing I would suggest is make yourself look like a real human being. No cat pictures or anything like that. So you want to change the profile picture. So let's have a look at a profile picture. Um, um, let's, let's have a quick look. Uh, I'll just change it to this for now, which isn't the best one to do, but I'm not going to put my photo on this particular profile because I already have one. 
Um, and then you can add a credential. Now, credentials are what allow you to be seen as um, the people that you're answering questions for as an authority in that market. So you could be, um, you know, a, 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 an advertising, uh, a Google advertising expert or Google SEO um, expert, whatever it is you want to be able to put some of those credentials in here because that's what people are going to see and again in a second when we go through how you go about answering questions they will come to your profile to have a look what you're about so the more you can put in here so everything about you know your employment credentials if you have any or if you've been self-employed for, for a period of time what it is that you do any ed education credentials and then your location as well um, and then knows about so you can, f in here, you can fill this out really detailed to talk about what your experiences are, what you have, you know, what you're good at, what you can help people with. And then when they come to your profile, they'll get a feel for, you know, how you can help them in answering their question. And that you want to come across as authentic as you can. So make sure you fill out all these, these, these areas here. And then once you've done that, your profile will appear to others as an authority we'll have a look at a couple of people that already look like that so just get so you get an idea of what someone's profile looks like once they've answered a question um, if we just go to this question here does ping submission really work on SEO you can see there's six answered and if I go to the top answer on his list that's been voted or one of the ones that's been voted um, you can see this person they've answered the question um, although it's not in massive detail I just wanted to have a look at their profile because theirs is reasonably good and it gives credentials um, which are irrelevant to what this question's about so this person here she's worked she's currently working at IBM in India she's an IT consultant and she lists here what you know how long she's been there she also talks about her engineering background as a computer engineer where she lives she's had like 506 nearly 560,000 content views um, she's answered two and a half thousand questions or there thereabouts so she you know she's doing something right um, the only thing I would say is I do not think this person is using her profile to drive it to any outside site and the reason I say that is because there's no clickable links in here where you would actually set them up now although this lady um, Astar hasn't actually put any links in her profile she's obviously on here she may be a partner of Cora so she's being paid for just putting content on here and answering questions um, if we have to have a look at this gentleman here he has actually filled out his profile and included links again I wouldn't advise you to use a cartoon character avatar I would actually use your face because it just means people can see who you are it just you'll get more trust um, and I just wouldn't advise it but as you can see he's filled out a really detailed um, profile it tells you who he is um, what he does so he does SEO on YouTube he's also got his website he's slipped in there and for SEO services but in this editable box here he's even included his phone number and then you can see there's some clickable links that if I just have a look at these they take you to a separate page which is basically his website and this is what um, you will use Cora for is driving people to your assets online so you want to do exactly the same here and how you would do that is you'd go to your profile in here you would come down to edit fill this out with as much detail as you can so you can include things like your Facebook profile if you want people to contact you on Facebook um, any clickable links if you want to put clickable links in here you just simply type um, click here for booking a free, um, let's say half hour call with me. And then if you highlight that, you can click a link. And for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna use the same address. So I'll use this one. If you click that in there, add, update, there we go, update. Now, if anyone comes here and they click on that link, that could take them off to wherever it is that you've got your calendar set or however you, you know, whatever it is that you're taking them to, they can click that link and be taken there. But I would highly advise you use all of this real estate to the full 
uh, fun it's to its full potential add as much information as you want because when someone comes to your profile after they've seen you answer a question particularly well they want to see as much information as they can as you can see here this is a particularly good one he's got some clickable links here which takes you away to his own website he's also got his website here although it's not a clickable link um, you, I don't think you can actually put clickable links up here in this particular box but you can in this editable section here so go through that and make sure you set this up correctly and then we'll, next we're going to go through how you actually look to be able to go in and answer questions and then the do's and don'ts really about what you should and shouldn't do when it comes to answering those questions and how you can drive traffic to your website. When it comes to answering questions or searching questions that you can answer, um, there's two main ways that you can do it. Um, you can do it either by using the search bar here to actually type in your area of expertise or you can go to the actual spaces that you're a member of and then click on the, the answer tab. So if we go to affiliate link traffic, just for example, and then this takes you to the group that you're part of. And then in here you can see about, you can see posts. So these posts are just general posts that people are putting up for other people to read about the subject matter. Or you can go to questions and you'll, you'll see here a list of questions with regards to this particular area so what does consistency mean in affiliate marketing and then it, it, you've only got one answer it was it was last sort of followed 12 hours ago so other people want to know the answer to this too and you can go into these individually and then um, answer a question so if we click on here it, this one has no answer so you can actually put your answer in so you'll come in here and then you will put your answer in <clears throat> now when you answer these questions, my advice would be to answer it in as much detail as you can. Um, the reason being is you want to come across an, as, as an authority. So uh, rather than just doing a three or four line um, answer to the question, you want to pretty much write almost a blog post. And that sounds like a lot of hard work, but you don't have to go in and answer, you know, 50 questions a day. You can go in and set yourself a target and say, OK, I'm going to answer two questions or three questions per day, but I'm going to do it really well. And the reason you do that is because you want people to take notice of the answers you're giving. So rather than just writing answers in one big block of text, try and make it appear like a blog post so for example on this i've just taken this off of somebody else's website purely for the purposes of this video but just so you can see what it looks like when you come in here and you add <clears throat> you add your answer in here and then you can post it now the two things you need to be careful of here is if you're new to cora you do not want to be put, putting links or anything in your answer um, because it will get you banned really quickly. Once you've got some authority and Cora can see that you're giving real value to the to the to the people on their platform, you may get away with it um, at the end of your um, answer. But initially, you want to be as um, uh, transparent as you can, but as deep and as um, helpful as you can in terms of the answers you give. So I wouldn't advise putting any links in there unless they're links to other sources on the internet which will be helpful to the person that's posting that question but as you can see this would be a really really long answer you've really gone into depth um, uh, and helped that person and the more times you do this the better you'll be viewed by not just Cora, but the people that actually use Cora's platform. They'll see you as an authority. And at the end of the day, you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get people to go to your profile because that's where you're gonna have your clickable links. That's where people can come to, to see who you are. And then they can then be taken to your web page, your landing page, whatever it is you want them to be able to see outside of Cora. They'll be more inclined to do that if you give them some real, um, content if you give them the, the answers to their questions because they want people to help them and you, what you'll find on Cora is you have lots of beginners um, that are looking how to do things on the internet so it's a perfect place for you to go and cast your line pardon the fishing pun but for you to go out there and help people because that's at the end of the day if you're a marketer that's what you're here to do and that's to help people especially if they're new and then you can answer the questions really well and then from there they will want to go and see who you are so 
that's the first way to be able to go and answer questions. The other way you can do that is if you come into the search bar and you type in the niche that you're in. So let's say, for example, you want to do one on autoresponders. Um, autoresponders, let's just say um, autoresponders. If you click on return, you'll see all the questions here on autoresponders. But what I would suggest is don't just go down this central panel because some of these questions will be really old and um, they you don't want to be answering these because they probably won't get seen or um, you can, they're not current. So if someone comes to their feed, it won't be showing at the top because it's really old. So on the left hand side here, you can see some timelines. So I would suggest questions that have been asked in the past week. If you click that, you can then see all the questions that have been passed more recent um, asked more recently. So you've got April, um, this was Saturday, um, Sunday. So is there a cheaper way to respond or cheaper than get response? So that's a question. So you can go in there and answer that question if this is your area, but you get the gist. So you want to go into all of these questions and then just answer them um, to the best of your ability. Like I said, be really diligent in giving them a really good answer because if you do that, um, it just sets you up as an authority and that's ultimately what you want to be on this platform. So you know how to go about navigating and finding questions that you can go and answer. Um, as I said, really be detailed in your answers. Give as much value as you can because you want to be seen as an authority. You don't have to go in and answer 50 questions a day, as I touched on earlier. You want to go in and give three really good answers. Um, and if you do that daily, that cumulative effect will soon build and you'll soon get views on your content and from there people will see your profile and they'll be taken to whatever asset it is that you want them to go to outside of Quora. But how can you increase the value that you're giving to the audience on Quora? How can you make it better for them, a better experience? Well, there's one thing I've noticed that not many people do on Quora and that is answering their questions specifically via video. So you're actually answering them personally and then going away, doing a video, uploading it to YouTube and then posting that video within the answers section. Um, it's relatively quick and easy and I think people should do more of it. So if we look at this question here, how can I start affiliate marketing for free? If we click on that question, you can see there are um, over a hundred answers. This was posted 42 minutes ago. So there's lots of people that know that this person needs help with affiliate marketing and they're going in there to try and help them. If I scroll down, there's some pictures and I'm sure there's some really good answers. They've all been upvoted once, twice on this particular answer, but there isn't anyone um, that, that's posted a video. So you want to make sure that you stand out better than that. So if we go back here and we want to answer this question, you can go in here and say, um, hi, I've done a quick video. Um, I've done a quick video. That may help. Help answer your question. Okay. Um, and then if we just put in here, the shareable URL. And I'll actually just put it in here as well. And I'll put it here. And there we go. And then if we just post that, and then you will be able to put that video on here as an answer. Now, I don't see anyone really doing this. And um, it does two things. Number one, it means that um, your video will stand out in the feed, just like the images do, but obviously it will be a video and they'll be able to click on that and it will take them to your YouTube channel. So not only will you increase your viewership of your channel, um, you'll also be able to help people far better uh, in, a, in, a, in a media which they're more and more familiar with. Everyone is searching on video. Uh, YouTube is the, is the world's second largest uh, search engine. So I would really encourage you to do that. So once you've got your profile set up, you've done all the things we've talked about, taking all the steps that we've um, discussed in this video, be as thorough as you can. Make sure you complete all these steps here because you want Core to see you as somebody that's serious. Um, uh, you know, you, you don't want to just half bake it, do it properly, come in, answer the questions as well as you can, give as much content as you can for free, 
you will start seeing some traffic and um, it's a really great way for anybody who's brand new to start making money from using not just Cora. As I said, I did a video earlier um, which talked about how you can use Cora just for making commissions. But for you to be able to drive traffic to your other sites, it's a really good site. It's completely free. They get 350 million visitors a month. So definitely something you want to add into the mix. Um, so I hope that's really helped. Um, as I said before, if you haven't already, please um, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And uh, if you're new to affiliate marketing and you want to know how you can use things like Quora and other social platforms like Facebook um, into the marketing mix and actually learn how to build an affiliate business from the ground up, there is a free resource in the description below that I'd encourage you to check out. It will take you from complete newbie to someone that has everything set up so you can start driving traffic. So thanks again. My name's Sean from Affiliate Income and I will speak to you soon.